What's up guys, Maniacs here, and welcome to Sonya. Now this game popped up today on Game Jolt, and yes, like I've done all week, this is another visual novel. I had no idea this game was actually coming out, uh, it just happened to pop up today, and it looks like a really nice and just creative little game. Now, I know that all I've done this week is visual novels, I've done like three episodes of Pokemon this week, but I love visual novels, you guys know this, and it's not like I'm just turning my channel into doing nothing but visual novels, which wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing in my mind, but... I love the fact that this is another indie visual novel. There's not a whole lot of those out there because they take a lot to do and a lot to keep people interested in it. The Pokemon one, I love that game. I cannot wait for the full version to finally come out. I am so pumped for it, but it's going to be quite a while before that comes out. And I look forward to doing more videos on that if you guys want me to. So... I was browsing around on Game Jolt today, find, trying to find something to play, and this game kind of caught my eye. It's got kind of a creative little art style to it, where everything looks like kind of like outlines of characters or whatnot. And apparently this one is about a guy who wakes up in a cave, and he meets this girl who is a ghost, and she's like lighting his path. Now this game is supposed to take roughly 20 to 30 minutes, depending on what your actual, like how fast you read and whatnot. And it's not supposed to be super long. The developer even said, hey, it's a relatively short game, but this is like my first one, so I would love to hear some feedback. So absolutely. First of all, it's a developer looking for feedback, which I love to do, and it's a developer doing visual novels. Hell yeah! So, let's actually jump into it and see what the game actually has. Now, as far as, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? As far as, uh, when it comes to narration, all of that stuff, obviously the developer probably did that himself. I don't know if the music was his. Hopefully there will be music in this game, otherwise I will just probably loop the main menu music again, because it actually was kind of nice. It'll just be quiet. Hello, and welcome to Sonya. For the sake of the story, we'll need to know your name. Uh, my name is Maniacs. Maniacs, nice name. I hope it'll bring you luck. Wait, what is that supposed to mean? Also, there's a ton of endings. As far as I know, there are seven endings and there's one special ending. But the only way to get the one special ending is to get all of the other endings. And then, basically, like, I guess when you start the game over again, if you've gotten all the other endings, like, something will change when you go to put your name in. That's what the game says. So, that's how you'll know you're on the path for the true ending. Which, I don't know if I'll be able to get that, because I actually... I have no idea how long the actual game is, so I don't know if it's like something I could get all of the endings and then do the one true ending. Uh, maybe if that's something like that, what I can do is uh, I'll play through the game now, see whatever ending I get, and then if you guys want me to, I can always record another video of me showing off the other endings and then showing off the one true ending. So, where am I? What is this place? Everything is dark and I can't see a thing. A weird feeling invades me. I wonder if I just woke up in the middle of the night and I'm, am I not, and I'm only half conscious? I'm cold, and this place is moist. It's definitely not my room. Oh. Okay. Whoa, what's that? A girl? A blue girl, and slightly transparent. Who glows? Thanks to her, I can see. I'm in a cave, but... She's a ghost, right? A true ghost, in a cave. Who glows? I'm dreaming. This is the only explanation. There should probably be some exclamation... Like, I'm guessing that's supposed to be question marks behind some of those characters, but... She's pointing to herself. It doesn't look like she's about to go. What do I do now? Try to touch her. Stance. Try to talk to her. She's a ghost. I'm guessing you can't touch her, so try to talk with her. Hi. He Hello? Oh. Yes, that's it. Hello. Hello. Uh. Ah, sorry. It's been such a long time since I last talked. I was afraid I'd forget how to do it. But it seems like everything is fine. <laughs> I see, I think. I know my reaction is weird, but she's still a ghost, I think. Her weirdness would be enough to disturb me anyway. Just in case, I am indeed a ghost. Okay, a ghost, so I'm really in a dream. You're not evil, right? Ghosts aren't always evil, you know. We're trapped. It's not like we choose to be like this. I know, I know, sorry. So, what's your name? My name is Sonia Arvel. Nice to meet you. Um, what's your name again? Nice to meet you, Sonia. I'm Maniacs. If it's a dream, I guess I can't be friends with a ghost. She's weird, but she seems nice. Her weirdness is certainly due to being alone for a long time. It's normal. You know, I'm not sure why, but your face reminds me of someone. I'm sure I don't know you, but... I must be mixing faces since I can only rely on my memories in this place. Well, I have an average face anyway. I was often told I would look like this... I look like the plainiest guy once I'm an adult. Is it a good thing? We'll see. Now that I confirm that Sonya is a ghost, I'm really curious. Ask her about the time she spent here. Ask her about who she was when she was alive. That would be my first question. Is like, 
well, obviously, why you're here, but more question, if you're asking about the time, why she, about the time she spent here, that's just like, oh, I've been in a cave all this time, but who she like was before, that might lead up to the question of why you're actually here, why are you dead? Hey, Sonya, could you tell me more about you, when you were alive, I mean? About me? What do you want to know? I don't know. Where do you come from? I came from the artificial island number seven. The artificial island number seven? What's that? Huh? But everyone knows the artificial islands, maniacs. After all, it's the only land human can still live in after the oceans rose and natural disaster occurred. I wonder where is this cave? There are only a few left at the top of some mountains. I don't get a word of what you're saying. I know she's just an illusion created by my brain while dreaming and strange things always happen in dreams, but still. I mean, you're not making any sense. There's a lot of places where humans can live, and I never heard about these artificial islands. Neither have I experienced natural disasters or anything. It's what you say that's not making sense. Maybe there was land ten years ago, but now everyone lives on artificial islands. Wait a minute. Could it be you came, you come from the future? Huh? What? Maybe. But it would be you coming from the past. In any case, it's so weird. I have to admit it, but do you see a better explanation? Not really. So my brain designed a ghost named Sonia Arvel coming from the future. Nice. I'm even more curious now. What about school? How is school in the future? In my time, it's so boring. I don't like it either. I'm the weird girl there. Really? Why is that? I'm not that happy every day, you know. I tend to isolate myself from others. It's, it's difficult at home. Daddy is... Aww... Uh... Why does she have, like, a line across her face? Anybody else notice that? It's, like, right under her eyes, above her nose. Is that supposed to be there? Was that there? It might be a shadow. I don't... I just hadn't noticed it before. I won't make you say it if you don't want to. Yeah, thanks. I still must thank you for talking about school. That reminded me of something. I was alone here. I was alone there, but it's not the case anymore. You're here now. I can't feel lonely anymore. Sonia? Ask why she didn't make it to the afterlife. Remind her you can't stay forever. That's a good question. Like, she's trapped here, but would she know why she's trapped here? That's a good question. I want to ask that. Sonia, why aren't you in the afterlife? That? I thought about it, but I don't know how to go there. I tried to... I tried hard to be at peace and wait until it worked, but I'm still at this cave. Do you know how to do it? I'm not an expert, but I think ghosts are trapped in our world when they have regrets or something like that. Um... I don't see what I could regret besides the fact I was only always alone, I think. Aw, oh, that's sad. I see. Stay with her until she is free. Go see the corpse for clues. Yeah. I'll stay with you then. If loneliness is what traps you here, I can stay until you are free. Would you really do this for me? Of course. I have nothing better to do until I wake up, after all. So what do you want to talk about, Sonya? Okay. I sit down, leaning on the cave wall, and she sits right next to me. For a few seconds, we look awkwardly at each other, and then she starts talking. I'm so happy you agreed to stay. I don't know if it's a good start for a conversation since I've never been skilled for that, but what's your favorite meal? Sorry if it's a stupid question, but it's been so long since I last ate. I should say ate, A-T-E, not eat. Last ate. Maybe I'll remember some taste while talking to you. If that makes you happy, why not? So I like to eat. From this little start, the conversation goes on, subject after subject. Sonia has so much to say, it's normal since she hasn't talked for a long time. I like talking to her, she really is a nice girl. Well, I should say, she was. Even if I don't really want to think about it, she's so lively when she talks. I hope she'll make it to the afterlife. Okay. What? She never made it. Not before me. Maniacs, you are... You are a liar. Liar! What? Bad and liar. What? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna get back to the questions. I'll be right back, guys. Ask her about the time she spent here. Let's try this. Can I save real quick? Yeah, I wanna save. I wanna save and let's see what this says. Hey, Sonya, you told me it's been a long time since you last talked, but how long have you been here exactly? Uh, a long time. I don't really know. I guess we could see that with the decay of my body, but I'm not really knowledgeable about that, and it doesn't seem to change anyway. I'm not sure. Time is passing. The decay of your body? 
Yeah, that's what happens when you're dead, right? Your body is here? Oh, your body is here? Of course, wanna see it? Maybe you can help me knowing knowing how much time I've spent here. Uh, yeah, go see the corpse. I, okay. It's weird, but okay. Uh, hooray, thank you. Sonia comes closer and tries to take my arm, but her hand passes through it. <laughs> follow me. I follow her further in, in the cave, worried about when I'll have to face the body. But it, it's only a dream. It's not like I'll really see a corpse. Soon the darkness reveals the corpse of a young girl, and I stop while being still a few meters away. Even if it's not real, I don't really want to come closer. This far, I can't see a, it's Sonia for sure, but I can see they have the same hairstyle. The corpse smells, smell attacks my nose, and I do my best to hide how disgusted I am in order to not upset Sonia. So? So what? What do you think? Am I here since... Am I here since long? It should say, have I been here long or something like that? I definitely don't want to come closer. I try my best to detail the corpse from where I am. Sonia was wearing short clothes, so I could see her peachy skin. Not really what I could imagine f from a corpse. You, you don't seem to have been here for long. Really? But I feel it's been ages. It must be a side effect of feeling lonely. Yeah, say, would you be okay if I asked you to stay with me for a bit? I would like to talk, to talk with someone. It's been such a long time. Uh, okay. Let's try this. Let's see what this one does. Stay and chat with her. Of course, I want to chat with you. It's not every day you meet a ghost. For once, I'm glad to be one. I sit down, leaning on the wall. She sits next to me for a few seconds. Okay. Since I've... Okay, it's going to be the same ending, right? Which ending did I get? Bad end, a nice chat. Okay. So that gave me one end. Uh, let's load back and see what happens when I try to leave. Fuse to try to go home. I can't stay, Sonya. I have to go home. More like waking up, but it's more difficult to explain. Go home? Go home where? Go home at my house. You must know I don't live here, right? But there's nothing besides this cave. Of course there is. It must have an exit. Or I'm going to wake up. In any case, this place must have an end. Uh, exit? No, no, no. There's nothing like that. You're not making any sense. I'm going to find an exit. I see. Yeah, now come with me. You're the only source of light here. Well, that sounded really dickish. She doesn't say anything and just tilts her head while smiling. I feel something strange in her eyes, but I don't pay attention. I start walking and she follows me silently. We walked, walked, and walked again, but it was still the same tunnel. I kept walking until there was no energy left in my legs. Sonya stayed with me the whole time until I lost consciousness. Like I would let you go. I never woke up. An endless walk. Okay, so that's three endings. Um, I'll load back to this one and ask about when she was alive. Let's go through. This is basically the same thing. She's talking about the time that she lived there. Okay. So I'm curious if this will give me a different ending. Okay. Alright. Reminder, you can't... She didn't make it... Okay. Ask why she didn't make it to the afterlife. I already did that one. So let me save again. Save right there. Remind you can't stay here. I can't stay with you forever, you know. Oh, but you could stay a little longer, right? Please, I want to talk more. Sure. For a few seconds, we look awkwardly at each other. What's your favorite meal? Okay. Till I wake up, same thing. Is this going to give me the same ending? A nice chat. I already got that one. Okay, let me load back to this. Yes, I want to... Oh, okay. No, I didn't want to do that. All right. Well, didn't mean to do that one. All right, let me load. Accidentally... Di oh, nope. Load, lo load the wrong one. Uh, load game. That one. There we go. Didn't mean to ask her... When you were live, I mean. Uh, okay, so she's talking about the islands again. Uh, let's see here. Uh, ba 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 ba. Ask she why didn't she didn't make it to the afterlife? I'll do this one again. Same thing. Till she's free. Go to the corpse for clues. Can I see your corpse? Maybe we'll find clues about what traps you here. You think that'll work? We can't know before we try. I guess you're right. Follow me. It's this way. I didn't know her body was around here, but I guess we were not far from it all all, all along. Wow, I can't talk today. It's here. In the darkness, I can see the body of a young girl. I come closer and see, even if I'm not an expert on the subject, but it doesn't seem rotten at all, as if she was only for a few hours. What I notice, too, are the bruises and cuts all over her body. What are those, injuries? It's... it's Daddy. Your father did this? Daddy always do this. 
Maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe I should kill Daddy to be at peace. I hate him. I hate him so much. But he's not here, so we have to find another solution. I just thought about something. I told you you reminded me of someone, right? Well, the more I look at your face... Oh, God. The more I hate you. You remind me of those people who say who saw everything but didn't say anything. Those people who didn't protect me against Daddy. Everyone. Everyone with your face. I hated them. Less than Daddy, but I still hated them so. Maybe if I kill you, I would be at peace. What? No, Sonia, it won't... Sonia did something. I can't breathe anymore. I'm suffocating. I'm going to die. I'm dying. I have to wake up. Please, wake up. Mute peepers. Okay, so that was four. Alright, so let's load back to this one. Because there was one other thing I could do. Ask her about the time she... Uh, time she spent here. Let's do this one. Okay, and then it's gonna... Uh, don't go see the corpse. No, thank you. I'm not fond of corpses. What? Why? So you don't want to help me? I would like to know, too. You lied when you asked. You faked wanting to know me. Oh, that was her saying that. My bad. It's me. Don't change your mind. But it's me. Just me. You accept to see me as a spirit, but not for real. Like... Like the others. The others? What do you mean? The others, like you, who came before. Like them. You'll see me. You'll only see me. She comes closer, but I step back immediately. Is she... Is she implying she's gonna kill me? She's crazy! I start running in the opposite direction. Since Sonia was the only source of light in the cave I can't see anymore, I slow down and put a hand on the cave wall so that I can get an idea of the path. Is she following me? I don't want to turn back and know. Will I be able to get out of here? If I keep walking, I'll reach an exit, right? Besides, it's just a dream. I'll wake up, right? Right? I knew it. Like the others. Just like I said, you only see me. I won't let you disappear. And I'll never be alone again. Look at me. Okay, so that was ending number five. There's got to be one more ending that I haven't gotten yet. Because the developer said that there was seven endings. Right? Yeah. So there's got to be another one that I'm missing here. Let's go back to this one. Uh... Would that work? No. Uh... No, that one's not gonna work. Okay. Um... Let me go back to the main menu real quick. Let me start a new game. Let me see what this will do. Enter your name. You're a man. Okay, maybe this is different. Nice name. I hope it'll bring you luck. Maybe this one's different. I have no idea. Okay, same thing. Where am I asking who I am? True ghost in the cave. Okay. Okay, let me... I'm gonna save right here, just so I don't have to do that again. Try to touch her. I don't know why, but I reach her with my hand. Ah! It's hot. I pass through her, but it feels like I got burned. I jump back, and she yelps. What do you think you're doing? You can't touch a girl out of nowhere like that. Even more, aiming for my belly? Why would you want to touch my belly? What? I don't know why. Besides, you look like a ghost, not a girl. Even if I'm a ghost, I'm still a girl. So she... So she really is a ghost. For what I see, she doesn't seem evil. If it was an evil spirit, she would already have jumped at my throat when I tried to touch her or something like that, I think. I guess my brain doesn't want this night to be a nightmare nice. So you're a ghost. What's your name? My name is Sonia Arvell, and, um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Now every day you get to meet a ghost. Uh, okay, this is different. I haven't actually gotten to this point, so I'm gonna save one more time. Ask her how long she's been here. Ask her what she Yeah. Hey, Sonia, you told me it's been a long time since you talked to anyone, but how long have you been here, exactly? A uh, long time. I don't really know. I guess we could see that with the decay of my body, but I'm not really knowledgeable about it, and it doesn't seem any way. I'm not any short time is passing. Okay, you're dead. Your body is here. Uh, no. Let's load back to this, and let me ask, ask her what she's doing here. What are you doing in this cave? I... I rot, I guess. I'm unable to speak for a few seconds. I wasn't expecting this at all. You what? That's not what I meant. It's more like, why are you dead? That, I don't know. I don't remember. I remember that I'm indeed dead. My corpse is the proof, but I don't know how. I just can't remember. Oh, I see. Hey, would you be okay if I asked you to touch my body? What? I mean, 
You tried to touch me, right? But the fact is that I can't feel anything if it's not done to my body, so would it be okay if you touched it? I want to feel something. Something other than the cold and moist of this cave. Please? Okay, so this is going to give me another ending, so let's... I guess we'll accept. Touch your corpse? Well, I guess. Okay, if you want. I'm not charmed by the idea, but considering the situation, the fact that I'm in a dream, I can do it for her. Really? Thanks. Follow me. It's this way. So this is going to end in another way. We walk in the cave for a while before I can see in the darkness the corpse of a young girl. The corpse has the same haircut as Sonia, which is enough for me to identify her. It's here. I saw. Come, cl come closer. Come closer. It doesn't... Wait, who's talking? I come closer. It doesn't seem decayed, as if she's been here for only a few hours. So, if I touch you with a finger, it's okay? I don't really know. Try and we'll see. I sit next- this is really weird, by the way. I sit next to her corpse, and despite the lack of decay, a strong smell I can hardly handle invades my nose. I do my best not to back off. I could bother looking for logic, but it's a dream after all. I'm doing it. I touch her cheek with my finger. What? I immediately pull back when she screams. Did I hurt you? Sorry. It's- it's not that. It's- it's been such a long time since I felt anything. It's just- I was surprised. This was really nice, me. She looks so happy. I touch her again, this time with all my hand against her cheek. Ah, your hand is so warm. It feels good. This is really weird. Thank you. I'm so happy. You want me to stroke your hair? That's even weirder! Why would you go with- why would you even go there? Huh? You would do that? Of course. I don't know why I caught the idea, but I put my hand in her hair, dirtied by time, and stroke like a father would do to comfort his child. This is really weird! Sonya doesn't say anything, but I hear small moans as if she was about to cry. Mm. A few minutes go by before she sits next to me and asks, Say, can I ask for more? One of my biggest- One of my biggest regrets- Oh my god, are you serious? One of my biggest regrets is to never have been loved. I would have wanted just once in my life to have a boyfriend. So, could you kiss me? Oh my god, are you kidding me? She's a corpse, dude! Why? Uh, let's see what happens. I guess, agree to kiss the corpse. Sure, I'm already down the rabbit hole this far. Let's keep going. Alright, I'll do it. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Sonia stands back while I bend over the corpse. The smell is unbearable, but I keep my composure and put my lips against hers. I can't believe I'm doing this. It's disgusting. Utterly disgusting. But it's for Sonya. I keep kissing her for a few seconds before breaking the contact. I stand up as quickly as I can to evade the disgusting smell. When I look around, Sonya is nowhere to be found. Sonya? Thank you. I think I think I can go now. Thank you. I think I understand. Sonya moved on to the afterlife, thanks to me. Sonya, who was the only light source in this cave, I'm now in total darkness. I guess I just have to wait until I wake up now. If I ever wake up. Bad end. First and last kiss. Okay, so I think I've gotten all the endings as long as the game hasn't kind of screwed me over when it comes to thinking which ones I've done. So let's start a new game and see if I can get this done. Hello and welcome. I'll need to know your name. Okay, let's try this again. Nice name. It'll bring you luck. Okay, so I'm curious if this is actually going to work or... Okay, because I've gotten two of the endings, and there's no way that- it doesn't actually tell me which ones that I've gotten. So, glows, thanks to her, okay. So let's just stand still, let's see what that one does. I stand still, unable to move, I mean it's a ghost, I'm too scared to move. She moved, she came closer, ah! Uh, run away. I don't know, but I managed to turn and run as fast as I can. The ghost, the light source, I can't see a thing, but it doesn't matter, as long as I run, I can be safe. Wait, wait, shut up! As if I was going to wait. Wait for what? Wait for her to kill me? No thanks. I run, run, run again. I'm surprised I didn't run into any obstacles yet. Ah! And it's just when I tell myself this that I trip onto something. I try to feel my hand, but it is, but can't be sure. Wait! I don't want to hurt you. Her again? My fear makes me grip, makes me grip what's under my hand, and I feel my fingers sinking into something soft. Ah! Ouch! Ouch! It hurts my eye. Her eye. Suddenly I realize what I'm touching. I think I think I stabbed an eye with my finger. Stop, stop it. Please, it hurts. It hurts so much. I'm touching her body. I tripped over her body, but why would it hurt her? I, I don't understand. If the two are linked, I can... Uh, okay. I don't like doing this, even if she is a ghost, but this will probably give me another ending. 
I could save my life. Still surrounded by darkness, I grab the first rock I can and hit her with all my strength. I keep hitting, ignoring the ghost's screams. Stop, stop, it hurts my leg, my arms everywhere. Oh, no, my belly, it hurts so much. Oh, I don't like doing this. Just, no, no, a few more hits. Okay, it's the end. I can see beneath me there must have been the corpse of a teenager before I destroyed it with a rock. It's over. No. Why am I able to see? Wasn't the only light source here? I told you it hurts. I'm frozen in place. I don't want to turn and see. I give a few seconds more hits. Despise hits, but she doesn't make a sound. I'll show you how, it, how it's like, okay? So that you won't do it again? That's how you learn, right? I'm dead, right? Bad end. It hurts. Okay, so... Story... Am I gonna get the good ending now, or what? The narrator said that it would give it would give you with like a slightly different thing at the beginning, depending on what I did. So, a true ghost. I, I'm curious if it doesn't know which endings I got because I I loaded back a couple of times, right? So, oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I wonder if the help thing will. Nope. Don't want to do that. Let's not do that. Um. Wow, guys, I'm sorry. I, I can't get the last ending. I think I got all six of the endings and the seventh secret one I don't know how to get. It said that it would be something different, but I'm guessing that maybe it's forcing me to, like, go through the entire thing and go back to the main menu, and that's when it unlocks it. So, uh, let me try loading this one. Oh, there's so many endings. I can't remember which ones I got. Ah, uh, dang it. Okay, guys, well, I can't get the ending to work. I apologize for that. I'm guessing what I should have done was when I got an ending that I hadn't gotten, I should have let it go back to the main menu, but I'm pretty sure I did, and then I started a new game, but the developer said that when you start a new game, if you're going to get the good ending, it would tell you something around the area where you put your name in. It would tell you... Uh, it said that it would it would give you some type of hint that, yes, you are moving forward to the good ending, but I haven't gotten it. And I'm pretty sure I've gotten all the different endings, so I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong or if I'm missing something or something like that. But if anybody knows how I'm supposed to get the actual true ending, let me know in the comment section below. And as for developer, this was a cool game. It's not incredibly long. The story is not very long. I like the story so far. And there's a bunch of different endings you can get. It's kind of sickening in some of the endings, like the whole kissing her as a ghost or whatnot, and then like beating her over the head with a rock and killing her. I did not want to do that, but I didn't know which ending it was going to give me there. And I'm guessing the best ending that I've gotten so far that I feel good about, despite having to kiss her, I like the fact that I was actually able to help her move on in that, that ending. It was the first and last kiss ending. That outcome is the best one, in my opinion. Mainly because she gets to move on. She's no longer a spirit trapped here. But it was weird that I had to kiss a dead body. So anyway, if you guys want to check this game out for yourself, I will put a link to the game in the description below. I recommend it. It's not a very big file. And the artwork is cool. The music is very nice to listen to. And granted, it's not a whole lot to it, but I think it's kind of cool. And just like a pretty unique little first start in this developer's journey to making more visual novels. And I look forward to playing more of them. So that's all the time I got for you today, guys. Let me know what you guys think of this game in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think of some of the selections that I had to make because I was a little weirded out too. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to check the annotations that are going to spawn right here for more videos that I've done. And I will see you guys next time. Maniacs out. Oh, and now she's starring. Good. Oh my. Wow, she's... Oh, and she's... <laughs> oh, wow. Ah! Ah! A creeper! A human!